Yo, what's going on, sexy sale on the squad? How you guys doing? Today we're playing Hades pretty much just because of the fact that uh just because of the fact that you know last game, if if you don't know, the last game I recorded was a Bastet game. And he was playing this build with Hades, where basically your goal is to make it to late game and completely burst the enemy. Blow them up. Don't let them know exactly what you're going to do, but just know that you are going to win the game because this build is so late game. Sorry about that. I had to mute for a second. Um, But yeah, and uh, at the end of that Bastet game, which I'm not going to tell you who won, who lost, whatever, but he was asking for tips on, you know, how to play Hades because he has a plat border. He wants a diamond border, right? Um... And so I gave him some tips and I said, well, with this build, what you want to do is you want to specialize in giving up fights you, like this build. You specialize in giving up the early game fights. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to win the early game fights and you know, there's no use in trying to win the early game fights. So what you're going to do is you're going to give up the early game in the hopes that you will win late game, which by the way, with this build, you pretty much will. Um, I saw that he had tainted steel, by the way, so I knew I could I could steal that buff because Boomba's hammer's OP. Um, but yeah, so your goal is to pretty much just not fight early game if they're pressuring you, and instead let them pressure you. Like honestly, like it, it's very hard to do because it's you're it's against your uh, it's against your nature as a Hades player, like. What you want to do as a Hades player pretty much is just always fight. Uh, I don't actually know if he wins this fight, by the way. I have a full ass minion wave here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't win the fight. Okay. He didn't win the fight. But, um, but yeah, like if you're against someone like what, what I was, which was Bastet last game, um, uh, obviously Bastet's gonna have a really strong early he has very good clear very good poke and you have to be careful about it so I figured I would just make this video playing Hades with that build to just kind of you know he, he was a fan he said he watched my videos so uh, just kind of show him like what you want to do and even if you ignore that kill or even if I ran under tower right now and, and I was losing the early game um, in fact you know what if I did what if I did, actually? What if I clear this wave and then I give him two kills? And I can show you how to win this how to win this from behind. So I'll clear this wave. And then and then I'll give him a kill. I'll make him seem like he's not uh, you know. I'll make it seem like he's not just straight up killing me, because he's nuts, but you know, I'll clear the wave. I didn't, I didn't want to die before I cleared the minion, so I, I feared him and cleared the minion, but... So we're going to give him a kill. And in fact, I'm probably going to fight another time and give him another kill. Now, I did alt and all that stuff because I didn't want to... I didn't want... I don't want him to feel like I'm throwing the game on purpose so I can make a comeback because that's that's lame, right? Like, you don't, you don't want to feel like your opponent is throwing just to beat you later. That would horribly affect your mental, so... I don't want to do that to him, but I do want to make it look like I'm uh like I'm I'm bad at fighting, right? Miss miss a couple auto attacks. And then I'll try to fight him. Oh no, I'm getting crapped on. Oh, uh, run away. There it is. All right. So, now that I've given him a lead right he has a gold lead he has an xp lead um he has tower damage lead he has buff control lead he has he's he's just literally he's just in the lead right so now that he's in the lead i'm going to show you guys how to play this build because i think this build is straight up period the best build you can do on hades no matter what i just think it's the best build you can play on hades um, but it does require giving up the early game. So that's what those deaths were about. I'm just showing you. He's going to alt out. Or he's going to alt on me. That's 
a little risky. That's a little risky. I, I mean, he got he got a little cocky there. He got a little cocky. Is what it is. He's still ahead of me. Not by much. I'm ahead in gold, but he's way ahead in XP for sure. <clears throat> Let's see. Coming over here for the red buff? If you are, you can have it. Oh, nope. Looks like I can have it. Alright, so I'm gonna go get breastplate now. And uh yeah, so what the goal right now is just to let you know, like I I don't need these kills. Even if I was down a thousand gold, it wouldn't matter much. Because the only thing I want to do, literally the only thing I want to do is clear. I don't want to fight. If if he really, really pressures into me like this, then obviously I'll fight and I'll I'll clear a wave with him. You know? Do that. Um, but yeah, my goal is not to fight. It's just to farm. That's what this build is. It's a farming build. And once you're done farming, you can annoy him a little bit, you know, maybe psych him out. Oh, alt, why not? All right. His alt is down. We are completely safe from being dead now. So now I'm just going to, I'm just going to try to farm. Like I said, I'm just pushing him out. This is my minion wave, dude. I don't I don't need your help. In fact, I'm not even gonna let you clear. Nope. My minion wave. Oh. Sorry, I had an alarm going off there. I have an alarm to take my medicine every day because I am like a toddler and I forget. Alright, there we go. The breastplate online. Now that we have breastplate online, farming is even easier. We just got 20% cooldown. So now all we have to do is use that 20% cooldown, clear 20% more, and get to that late game. So my next item is going to be Palanomicon. I'm um, just following the build that the uh, enemy did last video. So that he knows that, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a building issue. It, I, I generally think that the, the issue was that he was just too aggressive. And I want to showcase that with this build. I give my opponent two free kills to hopefully, you know, show. Hello. Um, I can kill him. He has tier two defense, but he has no damage right now. I'm going to walk over here so that I can ult him and the minions. All right. This is ult out. Uh, is your blue up? Because I would love it if it is. Not. So I'll just annoy you. Just fine. No big deal. I go clear wave. Slowly, but slowly. Hello. Uh, you don't win this fight. You really do not win this fight. There's a red buff. He's actually giving to me. Wow. That's very big character development. I did not think that uh, Bologna would give me that red buff. Blew up? No. Almost. Almost. Up the ward over, so it's up now. Let's see if he's doing it. He's not. Oh my god. More farm, baby. We take that. Oh, I want that. Thank you. Uh, Polynomicon's like 2300, right? Yeah, 2300. He's, he's following me? Oh, these aren't even up yet. Alright. Everything in the buff, or everything in the game is down right now. All the buffs are down is what I was going to say. Go the wave, and just run around. Make sure you're not dying. Just make sure you're... You're just kind of farming, you know? Nothing crazy is happening. That's a weird play. I wouldn't I would make that play if I were you. Oh. Nope. It's ult him into tower, which means he's gonna have to alt out. This is very, very good for me. And why is that so good for me? Because he's low mana, he's low HP, 
and I can farm ease right now. Stop his back if I can, just to annoy him a little bit. And now I have Polynomicon. And when you get the Polynomicon unlocked, which I have just gotten, which by the way, I'm also going to go... Uh, I'm going to go Thorns. I like, I like the Shell-Thorns combo for your ult. But now that I have Polynomicon... Here you go, boys. This is how you do it. I can start poking tower. I can start poking him. I can start really pushing an advantage that I don't really have. You know, I, I don't I don't have an advantage. But I can start pressuring like I do because of the poke damage I have. Right, like auto, boom, polynomicon, an extra hundred damage right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over here. All right, extra hundred damage right there. Well, the poly got absorbed by the Bologna stack, but you know, you're not always going to be fighting Bologna. Extra 100 damage right there. And this is this is what I mean, right? You just you get poly and then you just abuse poly. It's actually it's actually that simple. Well, I missed cuz I'm kind of cracked the video games, right? But it's actually that simple. Get away from me. I don't mind sealing this, thank you. I'll fight, sure. He's gonna ult out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expected. As expected. And now that I have all this pressure, I got a minion wave. I got Polynomicon. Let's go ahead and hit the tower, man. Do some of that juicy, juicy damage. That we've been building up to this entire point. <coughs> Excuse me. The next item is pretty situational. It's based on just what you think you'll need in this game. Um, for me, I think... I think what I would personally like... Is a little bit more HP. Um, and a little bit more survivability. And Midguardian Mail is going to do... Both of those things miraculously gives me 300 HP, uh, 40 protection, but also slows down his attack speed and his movement speed. So he can't really just do all the shit that he wants to do to me all the time. So that's that. And uh, he has no alt right now. So I'm just going to be doing some damage to him. Aliados, obviously, making sure I'm, I'm really bullying. And there you go. You can see the power of the build really coming in handy there. And um, you'll see it even more so once I get this Boomba's Hammer online. I will have to hit level 20 for the Boombas, which is why I think this is such a late game build. But um, it's so, so, so good. It's the best way to build Hades, in my opinion. Um, and actually, I'm, a, I'm, I'm slightly ahead here now after those fights. So what I'm going to do is... Um, let's see. Does he have anti heal? He only had. Ah, uh, he does actually have anti heal. So, I'm gonna go into some penetration. I'm gonna go Charon's coin move? instead of Obsidian shard, uh, for the only reason that I'm gonna be spamming abilities a lot, and the Obsidian shard has a, a quite a long cooldown on the passive to give you extra damage on on that one ability. So, I doubt it would be very worth it. Hello, away from me. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm very very strong right now, as you can see. Hello, well, all of you. You do have your alt, so I know that you'll live. Probably. Nope. Feared under tower. Feared under tower and absolutely dead. Um, I could be going to do bull demon here, and in fact, I should be going to do bull demon here. I'm not going to though. I, I want this game to go really late game so I can show you guys the power of the build. Actually, no, that would kind of defeat the purpose, right? I'm showing you guys how to win the game with this build on Hades. And how to win the game right now, if you get a kill like that, you go bull demon. It's just it's just what you should do. 
Now, because I hesitated an extra 20 seconds, I might not be able to get it. It might get stolen, something like that, but... There we go. Bold demon. And now I want to get that red buff, just so he can have it. I don't really care about if I actually get the buff. I just don't want him to have it. Oh, he crit that motherfucker for 500 damage. Um, you do not have ult, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to thorns and ult you myself. I lied to not only you, but also myself that you didn't have ult. That's okay, though. I would not like to be hit by that bludgeon. I'm going to keep kiting, keep fearing, keep poly autoing, and keep up the pressure. I think the biggest thing in this build is that you want to be passive but you don't want to give up everything right like in the in the really early game you want to be passive but you don't want to just like quit the game you don't want to just sit there doing nothing because obviously that's 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 not going to help you at all you'll just end up losing the game if you do that so you have to have kind of a mix of um giving up your your early game stuff and also making sure you at least have control over one buff, maybe a couple XP camps, you know? They're like making sure you're not missing any waves. It's something you do have to get used to. It's a it's a it's a playstyle of Hades that is is uh alien to the god itself, which makes it very difficult to adapt to, but I do think it's worth it. I think the build is really, really, really good. You do not scare me. Okay, there's his beads, and now I assault him. Okay, I'm okay with this. No fear. You want to fight? You're down. More poly autos. More slows. Okay. Very nice. I have 3,000 gold. I definitely should not have this much gold. I'm going to go ahead and back. I'm going to go uh, Boomba's Hammer. And I'm going to go probably something with cool... Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go rod. The reason I'm going to go rod instead of something with cooldown is because I'm going to do this. I'm going to go 500 pot. I'm going to get this blue buff right here. So that way I will have... Uh, actually, I have max cooldown right now. I forgot Boobus Hammer gives you 20% cooldown. So never mind. I actually don't even need the blue buff. Red pot is nice though. But now with Boobus Hammer... I'll get all my cooldowns up so fast. It's going to be a joke how much uh, how much actual damage I'm doing. As you can see, it's... With Boomba's Hammer, you just... I got four autos in there, three poly autos. I got, you know, so, many, so much damage out so quickly because of the fact that Boomba's just resets your cooldowns like that. Um, you know, paired with the fact that you already have max cooldowns. So those cooldowns are... They're coming quick, man. They're coming quick. You can see here with Boombas and Polly, I'm really getting a bunch of damage output on this Titan. I'm healing a bunch. My damage output is very high. I think this build is, uh, quote unquote, like, like quote me if you want to. I think it's the best Hades build you can do. The Charon's coin obviously is situational. The Rod of Tehuti that I was about to build last item. Is obviously situational the things that are not situational is book of thought into defense um hopefully that defense gives you a little bit of cooldown if not you're gonna have to go uh cooldown later in your build probably in the spot of parents coin or rata tahuti but these three items right here or these four items really are um just a core set of items that you should have in this build breastplate if you're against a physical god and obviously some other form of defense if you're against a magical god yeah, I mean, I hope this was informative. I, I hope that uh, you guys, you know, try out this build and see if that play style can work for you. Maybe get you up a few hundred MMR, maybe even a few a few ranks if you're, uh, if you're nuts with it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.